Welcome to the ELT 3000-4000 series programming module. Required equipment. You will need a programmer, part number 83-06-2824 or part number 83-06-2824-1. A programming cable, A2-07-0270 and an ELT 3000 or ELT 4000 for programming. Before we begin, you will come across the following terms, 24-bit address, which can be broken down further into octal address and hex address, cost pass star set number, or TAC, aircraft operator. Let's detail what these are and their correct use. ICAO 24-bit address and aircraft operator. ICAO 24-bit address. All aircraft equipped with a MODES transponder is issued an ICAO 24-bit address code. This can be either an octal address or hex address. They are one and the same, but displayed differently. Octal address, eight digits, numeric only, consisting of zero through sevens. Hex address, six digits, alphanumeric, zero through nine, and A through F. Aircraft operator. The aircraft operator is a three digit code issued to the airlines. This option is only to be used when the customer requests it and can provide a three digit code and a four digit serial number. This is not to be confused with the ELT serial number. Cost pass star set number, TAC. Every model of ELT is issued a cost pass star set number. This is also known as a type approval certificate. However, each TAC number has a limited amount of serial numbers permissible. Once that limit is reached, an additional TAC number must be issued. This can be identified on the ELT by viewing the ELT serial number. You will see the serial number is eight digits. The TAC number will be the three digits before the dash. Currently, the TAC number for the ELT 3000 series is 272, and the ELT 4000 series is 298. For more information, please visit the link below at the Cost Pass Star Set website. Programming the ELT 4000 series. On the home screen, select Artex, Program, ELT 3000 slash 4000. Select a protocol from the list. All the available protocols do not fit on one screen. Select the up or down arrow for additional protocols. Note, serial user aircraft 24-bit address national USA short and serial user aircraft 24-bit address national short are obsolete and should not be used. Setting the nav and PA options. From the programming screen, select the following. Options, get options, the option screen will have the following, 121.5 MHz, this option is locked, 243 MHz, this option is locked, 243 MHz is only used for the ELT 3000 series and this box will not be checked for the ELT 4000. Serial, RS-232, aviation out at 90 to turn baud. Airing 429 speed, this can be either high or low speed and cannot be both. The programming adapter. This is either enabled or disabled. Note, the programmer will verify either ELT 3000 or ELT 4000 options depending on the model is connected. Setting the nav and PA options continue. 121.5 MHz and 243 MHz cannot be unchecked. Serial. Enable this option if using RS-232 Aviation Out at 9600 baud. This is only for the ELT-3000. This does not apply for the ELT-4000 and cannot be used. Airing 429 High and Airing 429 Low. Select Airing 429 High or Low Speed. You cannot select both. Programming Adapter. Enable if a PA is installed. Disable if no PA is present. If this is enabled and the aircraft does not have a PA, an error code will be present. After completion, select Set, then Return. Very important note. Options must always be used when programming the ELT-3000-4000 or any PA. If the ELT-3000-4000 or PA is programmed short message, serial nav data and airing speed can be ignored. However, the PA must either be enabled or disabled. Remember, if a programming adapter is enabled and the aircraft does not have a programming adapter, an error code will be present upon installation. This will result in a customer return. 
there is nothing the customer can do in the aircraft installation to remedy the issue. Special note, programming the ELT-3000 and ELT-4000 are primarily the same. Therefore, the images were not changed and will display ELT-3000. During programming, the screen will display ELT-3000-4000. Programming the ELT-3000-4000 programming adapter. From the home screen, select the following. Artex. Program. ELT-3000-PA. The 4000 is not shown due to space. The Artex programming adapter, PA, is an optional accessory that will automatically reprogram an ELT-3000-4000 when installed on the aircraft. Note. No protocol that uses the ELT serial number may be used for the programming adapter. The procedure for programming PAs is the same as an ELT, except the option will say ELT 3000 Programming Adapter. Aviation user tail number short. Tap here to select a country. Countries are in alphabetical order. Tap to select and you will be returned to the programming screen. Tap here to input the tail number. A blinking vertical cursor will appear. Open the keyboard by selecting either ABC or 123. Alternate between letters and numbers using ABC or 123. Select Done when complete. Tap Enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap Program. If successful, this screen will appear. Serial user aircraft 24 bit address short. Tap here to select between octal and hex. Octal address, eight digits, number zero through seven. Hex address is six digits, alphanumeric, zero through nine, and A through F. Input the octal slash hex address using the keyboard. Cost pass star set number. Input the three digit tap number using the keyboard. Additional ELT. If the aircraft is equipped with just one ELT, this will remain at zero. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. If successful, this screen will appear. Serial user ELT cost pass short. Tap to select a country code. Insert the five digit serial number using the keyboard. Insert the cost pass star set number using the keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. If successful, this screen will appear. Serial user aircraft operator short. Tap to select a country code. Insert three digit operator number. Insert cost pass star set number. Insert four digit serial number provided by the customer using the keyboard. This is not to be confused with the ELT five digit serial number. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. If successful, this screen will appear. Serial user aircraft 24 bit address location long. Tap here to select between octal and hex address. Octal address is 8 digits, number 0 through 7, and hex address is 6 digits, alphanumeric, 0 through 9, and A through F. Input the octal slash hex address using the keyboard. Cost pass star set number. Input the 3 digit TAC number using the keyboard. Additional ELT. If the aircraft is equipped with 1 ELT, this will remain at 0. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. If successful, this screen will appear. Serial user ELT cost pass location log. Tap to select a country code. Insert five digit serial number using keyboard. Insert cost pass star set number using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. If successful, this screen will appear. Serial user aircraft operator location log. Tap to select a country code. Insert three digit operator number using keyboard. Insert cost pass star set number using keyboard. 
Insert four digit serial number provided by the customer using the keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. If successful, this screen will appear. Aviation user, tail number, location long. Tap here, select a country. Countries are in alphabetical order. Tap to select and you will be returned to the programming screen. Tap here to input the tail number. A blinking vertical cursor will appear. Open the keyboard by selecting either ABC or 123. Alternate between letters and numbers using ABC or 123. Select Done when complete. Tap Enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap Program. If successful, this screen will appear. Standard Location Aircraft 24 Bit Address Log. Tap here to select between Octo and Hex. Octo address is 8 digits, number 0 through 7. Hex address is 6 digits, alphanumeric, 0 through 9, and A through F. Input the Octo slash Hex address using the keyboard. Tap Enter and the 15 digit Hex ID will appear. Tap Program. If successful, this screen will appear. Standard Location ELT Serial Long. Tap to select a country code. Insert the 5 digit serial number using the keyboard. Insert cost pass star set number using the keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. If successful, this screen will appear. National Location ELT Serial Log. This protocol is only available with customers with an aircraft fleet. This is not the serial number of the ELT, but a customer provided serial number ranging from 00001 to 262143. Tap to select the country code. Insert the serial number using the keyboard. Tap enter and a 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. If successful, this screen will appear. Testing the ELT using the SARCALC software. After successfully programming the ELT, verify programming by using SARCALC. Select the following. SARCALC. Measure. On this screen, connect the BNC to BNC cable from the ELT directly to the programmer. No attenuator is required. Initiate a self-test by holding the ELT local switch to the test position until a red flash is present. Once a red flash is present, release the switch. A report will be generated that will match the option you programmed. You may also access the SARCOP software from the home screen. Measure. Follow the steps detailed previously. Review. You can review the previous 100 tests and preferences. You can change the amount of tests stored. You will also be able to choose between either octo or hex address to be displayed when testing 24-bit address. Thank you for watching.